20 people killed in a devastating flooding event in Humphreys County last year. It is the second worst flooding event to hit our state just behind the May 2010 flood. And while recovery is still underway, the Waverly Central football field is back open tonight. The team will play on home turf one year since last year's deadly flooding. And News Channel 5's Amelia Young is in the newsroom this morning with more. And Amelia, I'm sure it's going to be an emotional time for the team and coaches and their families. That's right, Amy, and I spoke to the head coach earlier this week, and he says his team is eager to get back there on the field, but he says a lot of those emotions aren't probably going to flood them until they're suited up and in front of their fans for the first time in a year back on home turf. Now, tonight's game kicks off at 7 against Camden Central. Tickets can be purchased there at the gate. Bolden says the field will look similar to what fans were used to, but will have some improvements from the rebuilding process. Bigger changes are still to come throughout the season. Season, though, as for coach Randall Bolden's team, he says they're ready and are even closer following this devastation. He's preparing his team for an emotional night and a night where they plan to give it their all. If one of us is hurting, all of us is hurting. So we, we've kind of got that mentality and I think our guys have done a really good job of that. It, this is more than just a game to a lot of people and we have to approach it that way and our minds have got to be you know, locked in that way. Coach Bolden sends a big thank you to all the fans and supporters out there that helped his team return this season. He wasn't even sure if it would happen until just several months ago.